Okay, so, you know, one day he was like, all right, so, like, you know, let's get into what, what y'all want to do. So he pretty much was like, you know, you know, he was, this is what he's asking us, what, what we about. So we, you know, pretty much told him everything. Like, we were from Jersey. It was like a little interview almost before we did the shit. So, uh, actually, yeah, like, I, I, we did that first. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get to something else before after that. So he, he was like, okay, Tame was like, I do graffiti. So after everything we told him, he was just gathered up like, all right, so y'all niggas is from Jersey. Y'all into hip hop. Y'all into the fucking the whole everything about it. Spray painting, B-boy shit, everything. We like, yeah. So um, he said, why don't y'all make a song about that? Like. Really? Simple as that. Like, make a song about what the fuck y'all do. Like, if that's what y'all do and y'all feel like that's. And we wasn't called Artifacts at the time. We were just called That's Them. So we had no, it wasn't no, it was just, you know, uh, I, I, actually, we was just like switching over to that. So, you know, this was after, I, you know, it's crazy even saying it because I'm, I'm thinking a lot of times we just um, was just never like really after we did our demos was saying that's them. But when we figured out we was going to be artifacts, that's when he put that on on recording like and 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 the hook that i'm saying on the song jamar wrote that he he said that in the demo so that's like he but with with the industry you know we couldn't we couldn't clear the sample because it was a james brown sample so we couldn't clear that and we told jamar and because that track you know I told him, if you want to do another one, and we all at the time fell in love with the track, with the track the way it was, but because they didn't want to clear the sample, we had to change it. So yeah. that's when, and, and and but but the way you hear it today is the classic that y'all know. So we was like, we was like, where Poop at? Like that's the first thing we said. Where's Poop? So like, oh, he, you know. So I'm sure for them that question was crazy even that early. So we was like, you know, so. We could, we was that excited, so I I was just like you know just telling him who we was. I had my Walkman and shit, so I put the head. I just was like yo, I took the headphones off. I was like yo, we got a demo. This shit was like I didn't care who was around. It was like a sea of people around us, and this is all happening. Like I didn't care. I was just like we we going back to Jersey. This is the only chance we gonna get to talk to these dudes or whatever. So I, he put the headphones on. Fortunately, he liked what he heard, so he he listened to like. Half of the song, and he was like, "Yo, this shit kind of dope." He was like, "Yo," and I, he like, he gave me, I gave him his number, I gave him my number, and then maybe like a month later, he called me, and he was like, "Yo, can I speak to L." I'm like, "Yo," and I'm like, "Who this?" He's like, "Yo, Lord Jamar, brand new." And I was like, "Ha ha!" Click. Uh -huh. You hung, you banged on him. I hung up on him. <laughs> then he called, he called me back. He called me back, like, "Yo," I like, "Yo, who's this?" He's like, and I heard him again. He's like, "Yo, this Lord Jamar, brand new." I was like, "Yo, man." Whoever this is playing on my phone, yo, cut it out. Boom. Hung up on him again. Stop. He called back. He was like, yo, 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 you hang up on me again, bro. It's going to be a fucking problem. Huh? I was like, this is really you, yo? He said, like, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, damn. So we talked on the phone. I'm, Yo, bro, I'm like, hold on. I'm I kept telling him to hold on because I was trying to call Tam on a three-way. Like, oh, shit, literally called me. So, you know, we, we talked for like an hour on the phone. Then we just kept, you know, getting we kept in contact through a couple of, couple of weeks. Then he was like, yo, we come, I'm coming to Jersey. And he was like, what y'all doing? We like, nothing. So him and him and Joe Fatal came. Uh, right. So this is this is when, you know, he had the wagon there. So he, he told me, he's like, yo, Joe Fatal come. I was like, Joe Fatal from Lava the Barbecue? He's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like damn. Okay. So he came. Uh, and so uh, Jamar Brother Wise came. So we took them to uh, Club Sensations. This was like the biggest hip-hop club in Jersey at the time in Newark. And this place was one way in, one way out. Elevated, that's it. You know, they didn't sell no liquor. It was like a juice bar. They sell hot dogs. So anything that was happening inside was hard drugs, pills, coke, anything else other than that. You couldn't smoke in there. None of that shit. So they had like a movie room. You go in the back and you watch movies. You had three different rooms uh, where like you had the uh, hip hop room. You had the club room. You had like the main room. Like Like everything. So... You know that that was like the spot to go to. This Saturday night was like the, the best time to go was on Friday, that's when they had a live show. So every rap motherfucker you know been to Sensations. 
to do a show everywhere. I mean, we, I've seen public, yeah. I've seen Public Enemy there. That was that is the place where EPMD snatched up Redman, and when they did that, we we was there and we saw him get drift, swifted away, and we was like, we ain't seen him no more. And that's when he was hit squad, and we was like, oh shit, like so. This place is famous. So we oh. we took him, we took them there. Yo, we walking in and all around the club. It's crowded, but nobody really, not, you know, they ain't even recognizing him because at the time, Jamar Dredd wasn't that long. But we were in there. He had gave us, like, brand new and Skelly. So we walking in there, motherfucker, like, oh, what, son? We got brand new and Skelly's on. We in, the, we in the shit. What's up? <laughs> people, people looking at us like, oh, shit, yo, we get that Skelly. Huh? I'm like, yo, look right there, right there, right there. Like, oh, shit. Oh, that's dude right there. Like, yeah. Yo, I swear, once people figured out it was him, we in the, we, the picture room, we take the pictures at. Yo, it was. It started off with me, Tame, Jamar, and Fatal, and his brother, and like then I started dudes. I started seeing from the hood because the projects was like right up the street. So every fucking drug dealer, that, drug dealer that was there would come down in. So dudes knew me and Tame was like, oh shit, oh shit, that's your man. Oh, brand new me. Oh shit, wake up. So they now we had like damn near the half of the club in the picture. I don't know who got it, but we all took a picture this night. They blocked the whole background that we had. Wasn't no more paid in full background. It was just people. So it was like, you know, we got to know him like that where he, you know, started inviting us to the room. So when, once we got in, we, like I said, we was never on them, like, you know, put us out and nothing like that. We were just chilling. So the one day we got to actually record is the day he asked me about that. And we, <clears throat> he threw the beat on and we sat right there, wrote wrong side of the tracks right there in his house. We recorded that shit in his crib the way and, and, and he was like a coach. And uh, Jamar was a mentor to me and Tame early. I mean, that was like, you know, the first besides like home niggas like Apache and Naughty and them like that. But these dudes was like outside of Jersey, you know what I'm saying? And we looked up to them, not just on some rhyme shit, but just like we, we felt like we was like them. Like they dressed like us, everything, Jabos, Polo, Hilfig, whatever, the Banana Republic, all that shit, was, that's what we was doing. So it all made sense. So... You know, Jamar taught me in the inside game to be like, you know, on the label shit, like, you know, I went to Mercury Records and had a, a meeting with Sincere only because I saw the Jiggy video. <laughs> I saw the Jiggy video and I said, okay, they're on Mercury Records. That's him, Sincere. That guy's the a &R. And Jamar knew him. So I had a meeting with that. Dude. Even though we didn't get nothing from it, it was just the fact that I knew that was the thing we had to do in order to get further than just us doing demos and going to do battles and being in, in talent shows. So that was what I was trying to do as far as knowing <clears throat> that everybody else from Jersey was popping. We was like one of the last, other than us uh, and outsiders, and we was the last, say so, name brand group from Jersey like that people know that was that came out. Mm -hmm. So so it was like, you know, Jamar, he, 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 he groomed us early. 